Hey, what's up, guys? Uh, today I wanted to present you the, the last feature I've been uh, developing. It's the constraint contextually. So um, the idea is that the uh, constraint applied actually depends on what, on what you select. So if you select an edge, for instance, then you see you have a distance uh, uh, constraint which is created. And on top of that, you can see that you have in the tool settings uh, um, you can enter the parameter. So if you say like uh, 70 and you press enter and it creates the, the um, constraint. Uh, otherwise, you can also just click to drop it. And if you uh, right click, it just cancel the tool. So now if you click on the circle, you will get the radius of the circle. Uh, the same as the other, you have the radius, so you can just type in the radius that you want. Um, then you can also select uh, a point. So for instance, if you select uh, this point here, let's take this one. You see you have actually uh, the equivalent of the lock tool, uh, the constraint lock. So it means that it will create both a distance between those axes, uh, between both axes. So you can drop that. Uh, then, uh, so that's it for the single geometries. But what, what is very nice is that you can select several geometries. So for instance, if you select uh, a first point, you see it creates the log constraint, and then you select a second point here, and you get a distance between both points. And then you can select a third point, for instance. So let's say we, we want this point here. And then you see you, you have three points selected and the, lit, the, blue, uh, the blue text uh, under the cursor, it just explain you what, what you can do. So you say three or more points, select a curve for a point on object. So basically if we select now a curve, it will give us point on object. And then we click to confirm the, the, the constraint. So, you can also select another thing that you can select is that if you select two circles, it will give you an equal uh, e equal radius and you can se keep selecting more circles and it applies the equal uh, radius to all the circles and also to arcs as well. Um, and it also works with uh, ellipse. So you can s select several ellipse and you get equal um, um, constraints which are applied. Uh, then you can also select like lines and um, and ellipse for instance and you get a, a tangent constraint or you can select lines come here eh. yeah you can select a line and come here yeah and the circle and you get also a tangent constraint Initially, I wanted to have uh, not a um, not a, um, a tangent constraint, but a distance between the line and the uh, and the circle. But this does a uh, distance constraint does not support it, so it's not possible. Another thing that you can do is if you select a point, then a line, you will get the distance between the line and the point. And if you if uh, in the tool settings you enter a zero, then the distance will be transformed into a, um, a point on object. Uh, similarly, if you select, so let's start again, if you select two points and then you enter zero as a, as a distance, then the, it applies a coincidence constraint. So here it just disappeared, but if we do the same, with let's say this and maybe this point here and we say zero then you see we have a coincidence constraint which is applied here. So another, another cool thing that you can do is that if you select two lines which are not parallels then you get an angle. So you can type in the angle so let's say you want 45 and uh, also if you don't put uh, if you put um, zero, then it will create a parallel. Uh, it will create a parallel constraint, and then if you select again, 
and if the lines are actually parallel then you get a distance instead of the angle uh, constraint and well similarly you can select ed uh, edges and you if you apply 90 degree you get a perpendicular constraint so yeah that's about it um, uh, if you have any idea of constraint which should be applied or uh, on depending on which geometry is selected please leave a comment in the forum and uh, else i hope you enjoyed it and don't hesitate to yeah to comment on the forum and to ask for this feature to be integrated into the master well thanks for watching have a good day bye